Welcome back to another waterlog edition of my short right out here in the rant and share smoking the lucky strike, sorting out the world's problems. One slow inhale to a time. <laughs> Those I often do on a grocery day. Mom comes home and some varied state of menace and panic. Apologies, I'm hurting bad today from the rain. Uh, and of course my mongoloid aunt compounding on the door. Look like she had a poop. Turns out she does and stink up my fucking house. And uh, I get to unpacking the groceries. One bag to a time. You know, it's it's amazing the crap that people buy at the grocery store. And, you know, it's like they give you ten hot dogs in a package and only eight fucking buns. Right? No idea. Or they'll give you a pound and a quarter of meat claiming it's five pounds, right? Or, you know, half of your groceries you open up, it turns out are frozen french fries and TV dinners, right? So I think mom wants to turn into a uh, frozen french fry, which makes me cook them every fucking day, it seems. And they're cheap enough, and it's simple, I can do it, but... You know, it's it's the little things you run out of for payday. Like, you'll, you'll have enough calories to get through most of the time. But you won't have things to make your food taste good, or stuff you want to eat, or leftovers, you know. When coming up with creative new ways to combat the grocery bill, uh, probably involves not sending your elderly mother to Walmart, but she wanted Burger King and a fucking haircut, and so I got a soggy chicken sandwich out of the deal, and a lecture about how much things cost at the grocery store. That's another thing. The clothes the main entrance, and you only get the one entrance. And when you go in there to buy things, there's only one fucking cashier. And there's no two products matching. So, like, you'll get Snack Pack brand pudding, Walmart brand pudding, and Jello brand pudding. All on the same trip. Or they'll claim a case of something is 10 instead of 12. Or, I don't know. It's very confusing and overwhelming uh, when I'm not combating sobriety and hop the Easter Bunny in the evening time. I know one thing for sure, though. That grocery store is going to be the death of me. You know, so if you're not growing good food or raising your own meat pigs or planting your own lucky strikes, you're going to be coming up short sorts. Like James Reeves and them damn short shorts. We're all going to be coming up shorts. And as always, as I finish my lucky strike and combat my ever-running nose because it's humid and fucking damp and achy here, and the allergies are beating my ass up, maybe Buzz the drunken bumblebee will uh, go piss in the flowers later. Who knows? I'm uh, going to go plant myself in my chair and let my chair become one with my butt. And uh, as always, if you don't like what I have to say, me fucking around with my friends on the internet, smoking me a lucky strike or anything else, you need, need my shorts.